Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Etta Davis, also known as the Angel of Death. The target is a retired nurse believed to have killed dozens of patients in retirement homes and hospitals across Great Britain. Her preferred technique is poison, though in later years, she has begun to prefer blunt weapons and violent accidents such as falls. Ongoing intercepts have tracked her to Marrakesh. This matches profile predictions that she is expanding her hunting grounds now that the net is tightening at home. While the target may look like a harmless old lady, it is certain that she will kill again repeatedly, given the opportunity. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and this is elusive target number 16 in Hitman 2. And we're going to be doing three methods for this legacy elusive target. So the first method, I'm going to show all three methods the timestamps on the screen. The first method is going to be involved in this tranquilizer and the lethal syringe. The second method is, as usual, going to be uh, including the electrocution phone. And third method is going to be including uh, for people that have mastery level one on Marrakesh. And really, the third technique is quite difficult to pull off. So I do recommend you unlocking some items to get this gun. But I will talk about that once I get there. So for the first one, I'm going to be bringing along the lethal syringe and the Kalmar 1 tranquilizer. So from our, from the start, what we need to do is acquire ourselves a waiter's disguise. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and um, trank this guy right here. Alternatively, you can start as a waiter. This is another option if you haven't got a tranquilizer. I think it's mastery level 3 or something like that. But those two guys are going to, over there was going to they saw him collapse on the floor, right? And they went off and panicked. So we quickly go on, went in there and bum rushed the waiter and grabbed his disguise real quick. Because we tranked him instead of knocking him out traditionally, um, his, even though his body gets found, it won't negate your son assassin score. Because we're in this waiter's disguise, this is not a, a trespassing disguise in this school area. So because we're free to just go straight up here uh, without any any trouble whatsoever. It's probably a bit of an oversight when it comes to the elusive targets. Uh, by the developers here but uh, this is the best disguise for the elusive target but just keep aware once you are into this area you are now in a hostile area don't worry about the target spotting you either because it in hitman 2 it don't matter because you're taking her out anyway now don't push her do not push her over the ledge because you can get spotted by the guards down below so just make sure you syringe her or alternatively if you haven't even got a syringe like that just go ahead and shoot her in the head and then go and put her body in the crate. But if you have used the syringe, just get out of there as fast as you can. Because even if her body is found, again, because it's poison, um, it won't negate your sight and assassin score. So really, it's just a very, very simple solution, really, if you have the tranquilizer and a syringe. And uh, even if you don't have a tranquilizer or a syringe, a syringe. <laughs> even if you don't have a tranquilizer or a syringe, you can indeed start as a waiter. I think it's mastery level three or something like that. Um, that you can unlock that. You can start in the cafeteria and then just run straight there. And you won't even have to deal with the whole knockout process. But it's a little bit faster than that if you do have a trank. So for method two, we're going to be using the electrocution phone. And that is the only item out of the stuff that we're going to need. Now, I really do wish I could just throw it up there, but it's a little bit more tricky than that. And it is, this method really is going to show that the phone isn't isn't overpowered at all. So first things first, we need to blow up this bike. So we shot the uh, the petrol tank right there, and then we exploded it. That's going to cause our target lockdown. And she's going to run straight to the cafeteria area, okay? But these guys turn into immediately uh, immediately turn into enforcers. So what I recommend doing is not doing what I'm doing right now, but go straight to the cafeteria. Because that is where she's going to be. I hung around to uh, make sure you could see the target. And she's rushing this way. Just wanted to doubly make sure. Now, only, um, only enforcers that are left are going to be back at the place where the explosion happened. So we're just going to follow now closely. But her lockdown uh, place is going to be the cafeteria itself. You can think of something in there if you want to. You could use a propane tank or something like that in there. Or you could uh, plant the phone in there if you wanted to. But uh, I'd rather do it outside the cafeteria. I don't have the uh, card anyway to get in. You need a VIP pass, don't you? So we're just going wait to wait for it to stop panicking. It's a little bit random AI at the moment. Until they all calm down. But this guy... He doesn't keep his eyes off me. <laughs> he wants me to uh, flash my VIP pass and I don't have one. So. We're just 
just waiting for everyone to just calm down a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to show you why uh, the phone isn't exactly overpowered, as people might make out. Now, we're going to place the phone on the floor, as you would when it comes to electrocution phones. And as you can see, the target will sometimes just completely ignore the phone. And it's, it's a little bit irritating after a while, actually. But uh, you just keep trying. She will eventually see it. It's just the fact that everyone else has gotten their eyeball on it first. That's the problem. And because there's so many people around, that's causing the issue there itself. So you need to minimize the amount of people that are going to be around at the time. So I recommend you doing it in the next section. But look, she even spotted that and she didn't pick it up or anything like that. So what we're going to do is just uh, place it over here. Just keep trying and then eventually she will see it. As soon as you see that question mark above her head, she's got it. So there we go. She's picked it up. So you can go ahead and call it and uh, electrocute her. What I found a bit strange about this one though is I didn't have a picture in picture in the top left corner. She just died and it seemed a bit weird because it seemed very season one. It just goes to show you how accustomed you get to that picture in picture when it comes to electrocutions or you know accident kills. But that's how you do it with the electrocution phone. For now, for level three, well, not level three because it's not an escalation. But for the third method, we are going to be using the default equipment. I'm going to bring the blue flamingo suit because it looks funny in Marrakesh. But what we have to do, essentially, is very risky. We're going to stand here. And the reason why we're standing here is because uh, we don't want to interrupt that NPC scripting over there. She's going to be talking to that guy in the pink shirt, which is the shopkeeper, I should say. She's going to be talking to that guy in the pink shirt. And then she's going to come over to me if we're in that area. So we want to just make sure they finish that conversation and walk away. And then what that's going to do is give us a little bit of a gap to get behind a pillar that's behind us and then shoot at a Davis in the face. And uh, that is very risky because if anyone is looking at you at that exact point, then it will automatically lose your son assassin. However, if this does happen to you and you do manage to get caught doing this, just close the application if you're on PS4 or close the application if you're on Xbox or just dashboard. Um, you know, just like click, close the uh, close the application and restart the game itself. If you're on PC, just Alt-Tab out of the game and you'll be able to replay the game. Re replay the initial target. But once there's a gap, just go ahead, shoot her in the head, and then exit the mission. Just make sure you don't take too much time though, because there is guards going up there. Again, if a body is found before you hit the exit, make sure you dashboard out of the game. Or just completely switch off your internet, and then you'll be able to replay it once you reconnect and reboot the game. So, that is all three methods, and hopefully that is uh, as easy as I've made it look, because it is. <laughs> also, we are, during this elusive target, because I'm one elusive target behind, we finally unlocked the undercover suit, the undercover casual, so we're going to have a look at that. So, casual and practical suit features uh, black pants and an open white shirt for long black coats uh, for hiding things and left unseen. Dark sunglasses, black gloves, and matching leather shoes to finish off the look. Overall, uh, this is what it looks like in game, if you haven't unlocked this so far. You get this after completing 15 elusive targets. So some of you might not have this yet, but uh, I've unlocked it. And I've got to say, I, don't, I really do not like it. And I don't think I'll be using this at all. And I don't think it's a very good award for the final elusive target suit. So we're going to compare it to one of the undercover suits in Wilton Creek. And it basically looks exactly like this. In fact, the undercover suit looks... Uh, no, not this one, but the guards version of it looks better than this, I think. I think if 47 was wearing a normal suit underneath this instead of just the shirt, I think it would look a lot better. But this is what it looks like in the sunlight. As you can see, the, the coat is not even the same colour as the, the trousers. Which, uh, again, it's just it's very off-putting. It bothers my OCD a little bit. But look at this guards one. It's, it's much better. I mean, if it was completely buttoned up, it would look even better, but... It looks so much better than the than 47 suit. And the uh, what is the coat made out of? Paper? Like silk or something? I don't know. It looks so flimsy. I just don't like the, how it moves and how it looks. And the, the fact that he's only wearing a shirt. And Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I've talked too much. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for the full details of all the perks you can get by coming uh, within each tier. For the top tiers, you've got the Psycho Assassin. So thank you very much for Argel and the Shave for becoming a Psycho Assassin. 
Uh, you got a lot of new perks when it comes with that. And thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.